NCRP Productions presents Fantasy Flight's Star Wars RPG, episode 14. Hello, and welcome to a table in a galaxy far, far away. I'll be your DM, David, and today we are playing Star Wars Fantasy Flight games. We are playing all three books, Age of Empire, Edge of Rebellion, and Force and Destiny as one collective game. Let's meet our players, starting with our left. Hello everybody, this is Josh. I will be playing Locke, the Zabrak Bounty Hunter Gadgeteer. You're missing a word, right? Um, I could say Iridonian. There we go, there we go. <laughs> See, I knew it. You got a separate <laughs> to distinguish, and yes. right. very different. Yes. All right. Hey, this is Barry. I am running Grist, the Shadow Sentinel. And this is Ty. I'm running Victus, the Twi'lek Mystic Makashi Duelist. See, he's got four also. He's got that alliteration. Right, right. Great. <laughs> yeah. So, like we always like to start, let's take that D12 White Force Destiny dice and roll on it. Let's see what the force is like today. <laughs> Starting with our left, what do we got? Two white. Two light. Two light side. One dark. Yeah. One dark. Man. Oh, the force is in balance today. It is in balance. That almost never happens. Right? It's normally favoring me or you guys. So, force in balance, excellent. Remembering when we last left our crew, our team had been taken in by the Black Sun to this floating asteroid. When they tried to hide in their ship, they were gassed and knocked out. When they woke up in the quote unquote guest room where they met a wonderful interrogator and essentially having not a good time with their stay here, have decided to free themselves and have made their way over to the room marked security in this eerily well like manicured facility. As they open the door, that is where we last left off. When when we were in the room, nobody nobody made the threat. I'll kill you last or anything like that. Like we didn't we didn't <laughs> do any. We, there was no threat against what was he, a Trandoshan? What, what uh, was the 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 Gand by the name the of Gand, Gond, right? right. Yeah. Like, by the name of what? Gong, G O N. Gong. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So no, none of us. I feel. I felt like you didn't. I felt oh, like I should have, oh, but I, we just didn't. Victus's internal monologue probably was along those lines. <laughs> yeah. All right. I just thinking because if we if, if you, any one of us said you, it aloud, I oh man, I wish I could recall. It's been a while. I, I, it has been a while, so I deeply apologize. I'm gonna say, you didn't, I you know didn't you death him I, no, the I, <laughs> time. I didn't notice. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like I would have said something because an asshole oh, I, broke I, my nose. I told yeah. I told the woman when she came in, let us go. go. And the the female... Well, that's kind of Moses-like. That's yeah. not the same thing. Right. Female Let my doctor, people go! <laughs> Jesse looked at you. You felt like there was some type of connection, but couldn't right. identify it. And that uh, spared her life, yeah. for the record. And and she left. That's what I remember happening. And then for you, Mr. Game Master, you remember that I had gone by the security station, and as happens with me for Grist, the sense went off, and I, we know there's robots inside. We don't know yes. anything more than that. Yeah. You're, you finally touched into your sense. We finally got to see Grist pull into the force that he is blissfully unaware of. So far. <laughs> So far. And you sense that, yeah, there was some type of electronics. You, it is that what like, it is? Is electronics? Because I was talking to, to somebody and, and they were like, so can you sense AI? I'm like, yeah, I don't a think so. AI, you, so the fun thing in the Star Wars lore, droids are the only thing that can't have force. Right. But you can sense the force in a very weird sense is like daredevils, like I'm blind. You feel that there is something there because it's the electronics, it's the circuitry, it's the metal. It's why you're able to lift them because they have to have metachlorians. Right, okay. Um, that's how it interacts. Please God, don't ever say that again. I know. I, I have to say it, but I don't, I disagree. It works because magic. It's space magic. It's space that's, magic. That's, yes, I'll go with space magic emerging. any day. Uh, Not that and, other word. Essentially, yeah. So you can sense them. Can you sense that this is a sentient AI? Nothing okay. like that. But you, it feels like a droid. And and, and I can feel that there's not what I perceive as people, humanoids, yeah, that kind of thing. You're not feeling sentience. Okay. Yeah. You're there, feeling. When you were saying the sense, I just have this this imagery of Grist walking with his eyes closed and his hands out, just I, I kind can, of just walking like down the hallway. I can do it, guys, just like hunting. <laughs> no, not like that. It's But that's what I always like to see, how I imagine the Force, because you have different species like Marilyn and stuff like that who are super attuned to the force and they have the ability to see even when blinded because of it and Not we are when, in um, basically skivvies you are in skivvies and does anyone have any kind of uh no no one no. even has like a, a 
Not even a butter knife. Nope. Yeah. Impromptu you, weapon, you, that's not the right word. My, my, yeah. imp- it's improvisation. Improvisation weapon, that's still a bad word. Improvised weapon. Right. Improvised weapon, that's the one I was thinking. It's an impoverished weapon. It's yeah. Yeah. Well, in our case, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, as we left off, this room, as we have described, is kind of like this large H. It's almost business-like, meticulously clean floors, essentially sentient trees and like plants. Just think of it like a, an average like lobby hallway in a doctor's office. As the door sh- pulls open... What you see as the lights and your eyes adjust to the lights inside, imagine a four-roomed wall. You have three large computers, multiple screens from floor to wall, taking up different information, stuff related to here, the asteroid, stuff related to the different floors, stuff related to sensors array, complicated uh, information across multiple networks explaining this. You can even see multiple camera angles in the center one. It has about 32 different small monitors monitoring different cameras. And the creature or the droid sitting in front of it, think of the C-3PO droid. It is facing forward. The back, though, has two more eyes placed behind it and what looks like four more appendages, two on the shoulder and two along the hip belt line, touching like against the computer consoles and screens moving forward. It is not gold. It's kind of that like silverish platinum. Okay. Um, polished to not a reflective look, but to a high enough quality that this is a well cared for droid. It is essentially standing and working across these, these uh, three walls of information. As you open up, it doesn't turn its head because you can see the eyes like, sh- sh- like camera flutter and look at you. It's almost like kind of like turns sideways to give it that head, like that backwards look. Hello. How can I help you? <laughs> I'm looking at the other two. Uh, don't look at me. I, I, it, this isn't the bathroom, is it? <laughs> no, this is not. This is the security room. Um, so we've been turned around. It's a huge place. We've been turned around in here. So we left our food. No, our food. We left our clothes. We left our, in another. I am so lost. Can can you pull up the rooms and show us? I mean, is this, is this a station where we can find that kind of stuff? We're here. <laughs> Uh, so you are trying to lie to this droid. <laughs> Let me see what we got. Give me a negotiation. <laughs> negotiation, all right. Yeah, this will be a three difficulty. Let's see, do you oh, have... Deception. Uh, three difficulty, so three purple dice. Mm-hmm. This will be deception, not negotiation. Oh, sorry, yes, deception. I deep well, that. Yep, there it is, there Probably, it is, yep. But it is sorry. what it is. <laughs> nope, I appreciate it. Thank you for catching me. This is supposed to be collaborative. Want to make sure... Hell yes. <laughs> One success, two threats. <coughs> okay. So you see the droid kind of like, again, tilt its head weirdly, uh, like a, almost like a dog when it's confused about a sound. It stops. Curious. You are the three new guests. Yes. As it stops, it you know takes a second. Yes, we are. Of course you have lost the restroom. You, were, you have left it. The restroom is back in your area. There are, the floor has accommodating refreshers for you. Oh, that's great. Um, so the other problem is, is uh, uh, well, they took our clothes to get cleaned. Uh, you got any idea where, where, where our stuff went? Affirmative. As its body turns to face you, the arms kind of like contort themselves behind to continue typing away. And I'm trying to catch both he, of their is, eyes. Like The droid's the only thing in the room? Yep. Okay. As you kind of like step into the room, because you were at the door, do you mm-hmm. step in? Yes, yeah. because okay. we don't want the door open. Yeah. Okay, as it wonder why the security door is open. There's three people standing there in their skivvies. You can see behind you there is a couple of lockers and chests. Think of this more like like a train station stop. Of course, your items are behind you, located in these secured storages. And, and just, you know, privacy and all. Which one is which? As it does, it points to the like, different ones. You can see even amongst its five like hand fingers, mm-hmm. it actually splits open and becomes two more like smaller fingers. As it's like <laughs> indicating, you're, and it points to like top shelf, bottom shelf, and like one on the right. Uh, your firearms, equipment, and extra clothing are left there. Yeah. Before we finish the sentence, I'm already over there like going through the lockers. If they're open, I'm like open, uh, looking. They, they kind of jiggle as you can see, and there's a red light. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Wait, that, that's. I'm just going down the road. What? Did you? Are you doing it wrong? Do they have a lock on them or like a yes, like a it's, keypad? It's a, it's droid? No, he's case. asking the droid. Oh no, yeah. no, I was asking oh, the, okay. the GM, <laughs> yes. but you can ask the droid. Yeah, droid, yeah. unlock these. One he's second. got a name. Wait, don't be rude. Oh. What's your name? <laughs> Security. Security. <laughs> would you open the things so we can get in there and get our stuff? I mean, we're we're expected at a meeting. 
One second. Let me contact the Vigo. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, who's who's the Vigo? We we didn't introduce to him. The Vigo is the one who oversees operations in this sector. I must contact him. You have escaped your confinement. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Escaped? That doesn't sound like a. That doesn't sound like we were guests. Is it kind of like sits there and kind of like turns its own head? Is it like seeing? I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking it, over at Locke. You're I'm like, by the lockers. Like I'm looking back at Victus, almost like you, shut this thing up now. Yep, yep. That's what I was <laughs> looking. At. I was looking at Locke to do it. I wasn't thinking Victus. I'll, if if you don't mind. Yeah, uh, go right ahead. I please. want to sprint at it and grab it by its head the head off the body. Okay, the that's what I was expecting All him right. to do. So. <laughs> right, I, yeah. I was and if you were more Wookiee, it, it would have happened. Like, <laughs> quickly, as soon as I hear, contact the Vigo. <laughs> <Yeah. Nope. laughs> right. So you're going to charge it. Give yep. me... So you're, are you trying to legitimately rip its head or are you trying to like punch it off? I'm trying to... I'm trying to, the difference between melee I'm trying to roundhouse kick its head off. Okay, so that would be a melee, not a brawl check. Okay, that doesn't help me. <laughs> yeah, well remember, you, you have your own fighting style. Correct. Uh, the Makashi style, so I'm sure there's unarmed Makashi combat that you still get the benefit from. Yay! <laughs> because I hate that, I hate that they're like, unless you have a lightsaber, a swordsman has no idea how to fight unarmed. And I'm like, right. I did sword fighting in real life, you do know how to do yes. this. Like, okay. you still learn a The style case. is still there. <laughs> okay, I understand. Um, against? Against. This is going to be, because it is in melee, it's still going to be a two difficulty I want you to add one black just because of its extra appendages. Fair enough. Like if needed, I'm gonna run over there and back him up, but right now it's yeah. it seems like you know, we don't we don't um, we may not have time for that. So I'm just hoping five can five success, one something. advantage. <laughs> nice. Five success, one advantage. Alright. And we're still doing the thing where advantages heal strain. Yes, and so we are still like we talked last time. Threats. Thank you for reminding me, Gris. When you get threats yes, to strain, yes. yep, threats and advantages at strain, you are going to add strain and lose strain uh, to just kind of help build that tension of your character working through it. So, and Gris uh, does not look good. So just to let you guys know, besides the fact that I still have you know the swollen nose because I cleaned up, I don't mm. look good. I'm my strain is mostly gone. Oh yeah, you got shocked. Right, I got uh, I got blasted a few eventually times. Eventually, you'll learn to, to uh, <laughs> not let them uh, not let them, not let them, not provoke the poor people. So, I was being nice! <laughs> yeah, you, you were being yourself, and sometimes that yes. doesn't rub well with others. Contrary yeah. to how much Gris likes to rub things, <laughs> yeah. some things don't be appreciated being rubbed. So that well was, put. sorry, five successes and one, one advantage. advantage. Okay, so put this down for me. How do you want this to look, Victus? So as soon as he says, contact the Vigo, I am going to, like, we're barefooted, so yeah. there's just a slap of bare feet across uh, the, like, the... Terrible. That kind of thing, and then he's <laughs> 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 <Just, laughs> yank sparks. Yeah, and then just you just hear like a of me hitting the head, and and then the head goes flying off, and like cracks one of the screens and falls yep. down, and I'm I'm gonna be like boring conversation anyways, <laughs> and then walk away. So the, the head gets knocked off. It's still hanging by like the cords. Okay, but the eye is like definitely cracked as it slaps against its own shoulder. Even as you're running towards, it's like wait, cease, desist, <laughs> uh, and then it like, cr clicks. The hands kind of like stop for a second, and then like they continue to like type away. Let uh, me flip one of good. my black mm -hmm. over to you guys. It continues to type away. The, the eyes flicker and turn off. What are you guys doing? You can see the hands. I'm going to turn back to my two partners and be like, "Oh, I don't think we have much time." So the one that Locke is not working on, so maybe the drawer. I'm on there, <laughs> it's just pulling on it. You know, putting my feet on the drawer, and pulling with my hand. You, you, would you like to try to like strength brute force it? Or? Yes, I would. <laughs> Once I realized there was a, uh, a, a a control panel or some sort of code yeah. or something, oh, the totally. first my first instinct is to kind of glance around to see if there's any kind of like console kit or electronics way around this. Cause my first Ooh. instinct is to use computers if I can either like try to- uh, Okay, try to like hack it with yeah, gesture to, to subvert it or like, right. Okay. Work around it to just unlock the, you know, to cancel the locks yep. power or whatever the case may be because I'm not very good at picking locks or yeah. skullduggery. Yeah, so things. skullduggery is the physical act of like breaking yeah. open the lock. I'm, I'm trying to electronically- subvert it. Okay, so you're trying to actually deal with the program and yeah. pretty much do this passwording. Okay, yeah, I can absolutely agree to that. So essentially you're trying to slice without a slicing kit. Give me that four difficulty computer check. Oh boy. Four purple. Yes, four purple dice. Okay, so 
Once Even. this is done, I do have an action that I'd like to do. Of course. Thank you for letting me know. We're a little light heavy, so if you guys want to like flip a light to get our shit out of the locker, I think that would probably be what? in our best I interest. I got some plan. We don't need to waste those. Uh, what, it, what? Okay. <laughs> Why are you guys... I mean, please do. Like, I, I no, yeah, I'm, going with, I'm going yeah, with Ty's he's, call. He's, he's about to nail this. The oh. the, I've been floor. wrong before. <laughs> no, you succeeded. It's because you spoke yes. too soon. <laughs> I got one success, uh, one advantage, or, or one success and three threat. One success and three threat. Okay. Yeah. Three so you guess. can take that as strain. Essentially, you. I'm imagining like you're typing away, and then like the first code, like you're sweating. The first code like doesn't work, and then you do enter a second Damn. one, and it's on that third try. Come on, come on. It does it unlock? Does the door oh, just yeah. like fling it, back it with goes, me pulling on it? It, it goes ding ding. Like I'm assuming yeah. you're pulling why he's typing yeah. uh -huh. away, which definitely made it more difficult. Right. As soon as it does, you pull it open, and it's like. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not like a car door where if he's pulling on it when I right. unlock it, it doesn't yeah. stop unlock it. Stop it! Like, stop it! Like, <laughs> 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 you see a little, a little pin come up in the window? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, is go. this mine? Yes, this is yours because it's the Mine's open! I am dressing. Yeah. Full go speed. It. Go for it. <laughs> His, right. his clothes are on backwards. Vic, did you get something for me? Uh, my action it will no longer be relevant. I was gonna. It was a method of opening them up, but that won't be necessary. Uh, oh, you know, it. Uh, my partner well, is much, much more. more skilled. Oh wait, the, he there's, only unlocked the one. He unlocked one. You have to get a passcode for each of these. This oh, isn't, and he unlocked. He unlocked Gris. Well, Gris has a passcode if he's got his gun, or did he just get his clothes? Come on, Gris. Gris, don't you here. don't you have that explosive uh, spray paint metal that you got? It's foam cast. Yeah, exactly. But, <laughs> Yeah, I, I have another way. So when I'm when I'm dressed, I'm like I have a frag grenade in my locker. What? I don't know if this is what a good are you idea. guys doing? Get dressed. So Wait, why, we gotta get out of here. While he's yelling at me, while he's putting on one of his pant legs, I want to use my force pull, and I want to pull on one of the doors. Keep in mind, I have the strength to move a whole rancor. I'm not sure if we brought that up enough times. Oh yeah, times. remember that time Pulling you blew all the doors? Right, he blew it up. Yeah, yeah. it's terrible. So I'm going to attempt to can pull. You, can you pull an, a, a rancor's mass worth of separate doors, or does it have to be the same object? It's in a equivalent <laughs> <in a, laughs> door. Find that. Right now, I'm going to focus it on just the door and attempt to pull this door Roll off the your, safe. Roll your force dice. Come on, to the light side. Please, please. I need, I need this hate. Give me the hate. Oh no, one light side point. Ah, I use my peaceful thoughts. <laughs> You're like soothing. soothing. You know what it is? It's it's literally the calm before the storm. He's like, mm -hmm. I know there's about to be violence. I'm s I gotta be calm. I gotta save all the aggression for when they show up. Yep. Uh, well I like to think that somewhere in in his selfish worldview, he's thinking like, maybe I should open Locke's door and there's like an actual altruistic moment. It's driven by anger at the the captors, but it's there's actually something positive going on in there. I don't know. He's already messing with that. I mean, he's yeah, already yeah. dealing with the ups and downs of do I like my friends? I have rolled so many light side yes, points. You have. Right. It's you ridiculous. probably could have abandoned us at many separate times. I could right. have. <laughs> but for some reason, I am just somehow, for some reason, just bound to you guys. All right. Like an anchor around the throat. <laughs> I don't know what it is about you guys. But I don't yeah. know what it is. It's like a mag locker around the throat. Yeah. It's a uh, horrible descriptor, but it's accurate. Oh, no, it is. So, yeah, as you kind of hear the door, and then it pulls itself open, kind of kicked did, in a little bit. Whose did I open? Did I open mine? or? Uh, uh, I'm assuming you opened. Did you open the one on the right or the one on the top shelf? I want to open the one on the right. That would be yours. Okay, damn. I was going to say, oh, look, I did open yours. <laughs> yeah. no, so, no. sometimes being unselfish actually helps the self. <laughs> <laughs> look, I can't Lesson help, learned. I can't help <laughs> others unless I help myself. So, why that's going on, you guys hear a voice come from behind you. Not the droid, which is still typing away as you can look back quickly. One of the camera screens has changed and you see what looks like a large obsidian desk. Well ornate and from the camera screen, you can see what looks like a Keldor. Uh, they are the orange kind of tumorous looking aliens. Uh, for those who remember the Star Wars shows, it was Plo Kloon. Mm -hmm. uh, he has the two like tumorous ear pieces with the like flesh like tendrils coming yep. down. He has the metallic rebreather, like, yeah. like broad visors and rebreather. As you see him kind of sitting there, his long nails kind of tapping steepled, together, yeah. like steepled and tapping together. Hello, guest. Welcome I'm to our base. I see you've made yourselves uh, available to my resources. As I'm putting, I'm like slipping on my robes, I'm just looking at him in the screen like, who are you supposed to be? 
I am Vigo Rise Zoka. I'm the one who oversees this region of space. And I assume it's you who we have to thank for our hospitality? Of course. You brought me the Falling Girl. I'm most appreciative. Now you have a funny way of showing it. Of course people can't be too safe around outsiders. And due to some thorough investigations conducted by my associate Gon, I have found you to be intriguing. Now wait a minute! You're the guy that had him come in there? I have everyone here doing what I need. As he sees you, Locke, are you still kind of so, trying to go for While your... they're talking, I'm still on the console trying to look up my um, locker gonna... and unlock it. And I'm, I'm the only one left that's not clothed, standing there with my Zabarek uh, white tattoos covering my body. As just... yeah, as you're kind of like digging through it, you can see it, it's it's hard to tell with the with Keldors because they don't have a good facial expression. They're wearing a lot of this like mask. But you can see him kind of curiously like put his hand down, type into like a small little thing on top of his desk. Uh, it looks like a panel of some sort that's built into the obsidian desk and your locker pops open. But just so we're clear, I'm not watching the screen. No, no, I'm, I I'm looking at the he's, console, he's so I'm like, final. You guys. Yeah, so you're I'll like, go I got stuff. it. But he yeah. pop you guys see him type away and then it pops I don't open. really understand why looking at the locker's mind open, but whatever, I'll take it. Hey, it works. You yeah. finally figured the code. You just had to hit enter enough. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm snapping my harness into yep. place, which should be basically the way we're going, the last piece for me. Mm -hmm. I will put the comm link in place, and, and now I'm going to look over. Okay, so... As guests, are you feeding us? And not that crap we got in the other room? If you're willing to let me come down and have a talk with you individuals, I think I can provide an interesting opportunity. Here? In the security office? With your broken robot? <laughs> oh, I have much more associates and droids with me. It's going to be peaceful. I'm here to... And were you the uh, individual we saw on the Hololith back on Lanik? Talking with the Red Sand Runners, was that you? You hear kind of, I can't do the fun rebreather sound, but I love that. that, that. Well, not like, they're like, because Plo Kloon has that cool, like, almost reverberated right. voice, and so I love that. But you hear that, like, oh, 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 like laugh. Yes, some good holographics to hide an individual's true identity. Let's see. Wow, you saw through that? Well, I, didn't, I didn't see through it, I just asked if it was him. So, it sounds like a truceful piece. You are armed as a sign of good trust. I will come down with my guards, and I will take you through our operation. I want to get to know the people who brought me such fortune with did, the falling. Did, did, did we actually bring him sex? Is that, what, is that what's going on? As he does, you can see the camera turn off. But before it does, you see him stand up, and you see what looks like a very well-polished, high monitored like combat droid essentially it has this nice like think like almost centurion style plate mail bipedal on top of its arm anyone have combat warfare or knowledge warfare no. uh, nope okay well i'm not as an actual rank all right obviously i can yeah. roll it this thing looks sturdy let's say that okay. <laughs> Thing looks sturdy as it as it seems to clink uh, off as the camera goes. On well, knowledge skills, you have to have a rank to roll that. Nope, you no, you, you can roll if anyone wants to take that chance. Um, well, I've got like, time because I'm not is, doing anything else. I want to buy some knowledge skills from my background Absolutely. sake. I just never had the X XP to spend on them yet. <laughs> someday you will. Someday you will, man. So um, what am I rolling? I, I can roll intelligence though. This is a four daunting purple difficulty. Is what's called. Well, daunting I'm gonna get challenge. some more stress. Okay, so I got one and one. Oh, that's ah. Good. So one failure and one threat. Okay, I got one success and one threat. Ooh, one success yes. and one threat. Okay. Oh, nice. Um, yes. Yeah, this thing, from what you can tell, because you know armaments, you've put together enough. And I imagine Locke, you probably go window shopping a lot for the good things as well. Oh yeah. You can tell from based on its arm that it has a holographic shield. So yeah, um, that's what I'm worried about. It's not the armor you can see, but the armor that we it's, can't see. It's, it's, it's well defensive, and you can tell probably based into like how the arm is like the right arm is func uh, functioning. It has some type of like internal blasters. So this thing may look unarmed just for pure intimidating strength, but you're like, I know this to be a higher quality guard droid. You can't quite put the model on it, but you're like... I know that this... I've heard people talk about it, and that sounds like the one that kind of did in a few of your bounty uh, And the screen goes black. Yep. 
Uh, all right, he better be bringing food. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Chris, no, I think we got to get out of here. What? What do you mean? I think he's coming down to talk to us. Yeah, I don't think that droid is part of the welcoming committee. Well, I mean, he said he was coming down to. We're armed. He's armed. I'll tell you what, Chris. Yeah. You stay here. You talk with him. You tell us how it goes. I'm getting out of here. Well, I mean, that that doesn't really represent a a, 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 a unified front. <laughs> You just grab them. I will make a getaway. Look, yeah. It's fun. Get you, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're the real people person here, Chris. I think you should talk yeah, with the man. Well, I'm sure I mean, he's very until, reasonable. Until we, get, until we get six back. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, no, that's that's my job. <laughs> that's great. It, Locke, you need to get dressed, though. I mean, it's rude to I flick on my jury rigged enhanced power source on my carbine, hoping this thing is powerful enough. Yeah, you hear like the, the kind of the whirl of it. So, do you think, uh, since you guys are going to be here, should I meet him in the hallway or here in the room? I look at Locke and be like, it's much safer in the room. Okay. Have a lot more cover in here. All right. Do we have cover in here or is it just yeah. wall mounted? Uh, here? So, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, I'm, I'm, let me just get this straight. You're talking about actually waiting for this guy? You think he can be trusted? I don't think we want to get into a fight with this droid. And that's what I'm saying. If, if, and if, if we run now, we don't have to worry about a fight with him. Where, where are we going to run? No argument. I don't even know where the ship is. Ooh. I'm going to go hop on the computers. I'm going to go see if I can Love figure it. out where everything is. All right, man. You, so, you have your gear. You have your stuff. The droid doesn't seem to stop you. It just seems right. to be... I, I, I'm going to grab the hand and kind of pull it away it's, from it's one like, of the... It's kind yeah. of like you're pulling the uh, the old uh, vinyl set. You're just pulling right. the... Right, yep. Here you go. Type away <laughs> on this. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, I imagine some poor starship's like, that's some weird astrogation it's asking me to yeah. pull in. <laughs> also, there's just ships, like, hyperdriving into the side of the asteroid. Boom! <laughs> Guys, pull back! Pull back! <laughs> so, against what? So, you're going to try... What are you trying to do? I so, what I would like to do, as best as Grist would be able to figure this out, what I'd like to do is I would like to be able to pull up, like, a map of the station levels that kind of thing like and, hanger. yeah and then be able to start like identifying things like where where is the rosen road uh, if, so, if i can't find the rosen road where is another ship excellent so where's the closest ship you know those kind of ooh, things oh, so great this is exactly what i want so wrist i have some wonderful news it is going to be at least this is the hilarious part it's one difficulty <laughs> and while he's user friendly computer, um, Locke will come over, like, armed and armored to Victus and say, you know, if you wanted us dead, Victus, he, they had plenty of opportunity by now. So there must be something more to this than just bringing an execution, execution droid in here. Yeah, didn't the the, the Inquisitor guy said, oh, no, not, that's, not, that's not what I meant. The the interrogator guy, I, that's not what I meant. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> but the interrogator guy, he, that's what he said. If he wanted us dead, we'd be dead. Yeah, something about this before doesn't we matter. escaped. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I know how these people usually work, and if uh, if the assets don't stay contained, they're not really worth the time anymore. I have one advantage, net. Okay. Wow, this thing has a like, great interface. It's pretty. Look at this. I got <laughs> some cool colors. I, I haven't quite figured out what the levels are. I just yet. replaced my internet browser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. The Google 4000. Right. Damn it! <laughs> no, I mean, not Explorer. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> All right, so you got, sorry, one success? No, oh. I have one advantage. Oh, one advantage. Zero success. <laughs> Zero well, success. You, you could use this train, right? Do you get a train back if you got I did. I did. Yeah. I'm getting a moment to relax as I'm doing the things yeah. I want to do. That's why you, oh, you were enjoying yeah. the UI. Exactly. Right. So, uh, as you're kind of playing around, <laughs> essentially, here's the funny part. Yeah. You're, there's a ton of computers. There's tons of information being processed through these thing, channels. Uh, but essentially, there is one as you kind of like touch and you're like, where is this? And you look over at the screen and you're like, oh, it's just the entire layout is there. Right there. So you are on the, there are four floors. A top, mid top, middle, and then lower. Are they all H shaped? Yes. Okay. Some are slightly varied, but that is the generally H shaped. Yeah. The the center going from the third floor down to the hangar, which is the bottom floor, has the center transport elevator. On your floor, you have the basic H shape, which is in the center part is the transport. You're in security. Bottom is mm -hmm. the communications array. Mm -hmm. The top right would be medical and where you guys were was the guest room. You noticed that there was another area kind of off this H over on the right side, which is a droid bay and mechanics area. And you notice when you first came in here, a thing that you might have forgotten from last episode, 
on the opposite side, on your side of the age, there was an elevator, a black obsidian elevator that didn't appear on your location of this. It doesn't appear it on doesn't this one. It doesn't appear. Um, all right, so if, if I was going to be, you know, the, the guy who runs the place, I would not want my stuff to be there. I think that the elevator outside here, I think that's his elevator. Understood. Okay. And what uh, about the hangar? Do you find anything about the hangar, Chris? Oh, yeah, it's three levels down. The hangar is three levels down. Is I, can't, I, I don't know what's in there. Hang on a sec. Let me see if I can figure are out what kind of ships floor? are in there. You were on the topmost floor possible out of this area. You know there's a fourth floor. You do not know how to get there. You just It's just There's no school. obvious way to get there on there. A fifth floor, you mean. Fourth. A fourth floor. So nope, you, nope, nope. This is, that's his level. That's his level. See, no, look. Exactly All right, so I'm here. What We're here. We're in this one. And you're like, here's the next one. It, they're down. Why do you look at me guys, like we that? We don't have time to go <laughs> over the floor plan. Listen Great. to me. I need to. I, I just want to say one thing. Go yeah. Right you know, it, I, every shred of my instinct yells that we should run and and not fight this thing. But if we have any chance of figuring out what happened to Six or getting out of here with her alive, I think we really just need to play along. I think that's you good. Know, this is not my strong suit. I am not. I don't have a great poker face, but in this case, I really believe. Vic, this does. I really believe we just need to play along with this guy, figure out what happened to Six, and take it from there. Uh, just as an off possibility, I could foam creep the elevator door. They wouldn't be able to get through it. Right, but the whole idea here is if we play along, we're not going to do anything to hinder them Okay. in order to gain their trust, in order to figure out what so happened to Six. Now I'm looking at Victus. So Victus, you know, out of character, you know, this is everything, if, if this was Victus of three weeks ago, which is before this whole started. I think right. We, I think yeah. total we've been in game for about three weeks now. Sounds right. I probably just, I know where the hangar's at. I know how to fly a Go. ship. I'd be gone. But, unfortunately for everyone, I've not exactly, uh... <clears throat> Has he learned to love? No, 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 no. The, 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 the Grinch's heart has not grown three sizes this day, no. The Grinch's heart has point begun to thaw. <laughs> oh, my chest! It hurts because it meant something. No, uh, I, I love it. It hurt because it was real. No, so Victus is just going to kind of grunt. <clears throat> you two think this is best. And I'm going to just take my vibro spear up in my hand and stand by the door. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to spin. So... Is there only one chair and is the droid in it? The droid is not in a chair, it is standing. Is there a chair? Uh, yes, there are actually. Uh, I will take a chair. Wall. Okay. Uh, right to the middle of the room. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I will sit there. All right, so you're going to continue to tap away on the computers? Oh, no, 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 no. Locks, oh. Locks told me we're not leaving. I don't. Okay. I, it doesn't matter to me now. Essentially, you're behind the droid. You do have some cover. Just I, as it, a fair is Lock at the computers? Lock yeah, them? I was close by. Yeah, I mean, I was on Actually, them. did you hop off them? You were Once you got dressed, did you go back to them? Or? No, I, I just walked over to the group where... Okay. So me, with my, my you know, simian brain, will try to go over there and figure out these computers. I'd like to just see what kind of ships are even there. Like, if I can identify, like what ships are in the hangars and things like that. Oh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, sweet. So, as you look down and through the security cameras, this is easy. It doesn't even take a check. Okay. What I will need to see, you see, besides some starfighters arranged in a row of three and three, so one on three on the left, three on the right. What kind of starfighters? These are similar to the ones that came to pick you up there. The oh, yeah. The Antonelli and they look like the little, like, stingrays. Yep. You see, sorry, let me actually describe the hangar for you. You see the hangar is, again, kind of an octagon shape. The six fighters are closer to the southern section. They have are plugged into fuel and generators. Uh, you see the little gonks kind of powering them. On the northern side of this hangar, you see a lot of crates. You see there is a second tiered floor with walkways up on both sides. They have cranes moving large cargo crates containing what God knows what. But from a quick glance, there's some large crates with smaller crates in them, varying size of cylinders, varying size of boxes. You see two different ships, one on the north side and one on the south side. The first one on the north side, let me describe it and then I'm going to see what type of skill I can to tell you a little bit more about it. I would say piloting space, or piloting, yeah, piloting space would tell you about these ships. But the first one on the north side, Think of a more of a Millennium Falcon look, except across the center is a much more extended nozzle. This looks again like a type of smuggler ship, similar to this. The second one across the, uh, on the south side is a much larger ship, longer, 
with in the back section where the engines are two horizontal like wingspans this looks more like a fashion you would think about it, is it looks more like a destroyer from our world like a like a boat looking similar to this with its gray bodied and like gold outlines but neither of these are obviously the rosen road they are not the rosen road which you remember landing in and it did it was quite damaged from your interaction does the hangar i'm looking at look like the hangar we landed in yes Interesting. Uh, so the Rosenroth's gone, gone. What you can tell is that you can see there are a few other large doors. You're wondering if it maybe was pulled into like a hangar bay shop or repaired. Mm. The smaller ships, of course, can sit out. They're not their single person starfighters, so they don't take up a lot of space, contrary to like how the TIE fighters look. These two ships are much larger, thus they probably need it. So if you were to do repairs, it couldn't be done here for loading and unloading. Fair enough. Uh, so you're imagining is that they probably got moved to some type of ship bay repair. Would you like to try to learn a little bit about those ships? Sure, what am I rolling against? Uh, would you would like be, to know more? So I, my question is like this place, it was like an asteroid yes. station, yes. right? And so like there's other ships coming and going for like supply, supplies and sales, but it's not really like a tourism spot or any Mm -hmm. place you would go unless you were specifically supplying this facility. Is yes, that this, correct? Exactly. Okay. This is, from what you can easily extrapolate from the amount of Black Sun markings everywhere, this is more like an outpost. This is The asteroid is quite large, not similar to like how you would imagine the Star Wars, like the smaller ones. This is actually big enough that they do have asteroid stations. This is more of an asteroid station. You can tell just from quickly looking at those cameras, there's enough here to like fund a small regional operation, but this is definitely by no means a large base. No. Okay, um, and so these ships are probably guessed and not like confiscated or part of, like as far as we know, there's no there's no symbolism on them from what we can see or from what we can see. Not accurate, because okay. uh, you have not described how to see it or are not asked to see it. I just described what the general ship looks like. Right. But if you were to ask, and also- I haven't like, seen the screen at all. Yeah. I'm just- If you were to look, or Victus would like to know, there are markings across it. Sorry, so it is against piloting space. This would be too difficult to know what type of ships they are. Three success, one threat. Three success, one threat. So the first one is the YT-2000 transporter, Corellian Corporation model. That's the Millennium Falcon looking one. You yep. know the Corellian models always tend to look more like Millennium Falcons. That's like their go-to Right, that's design. a similar aesthetic. Yep. To the and the other one the look, that looks more like a barge slash like destroyer is the Lantanellian GX class executive transport. Vickers, they are both, what are you doing? Seeing if we can find the Rosen Road. They are both essential. Ah, oh! I'm going to turn around. Did you find no, it? I'm going to stand no. up on the chair and look over. There is more info. There is more, and I will go back. I apologize. <laughs> um, excellent. You know this as well, Victus, based on your success. These are both medium-class transport ships. They are essentially one size larger than the Rosen Road. So while Victus is tapping away on the computer and while Grist is sitting in his chair spinning around in circles or whatever. No, I'm standing up, re leaning over the back, looking at what he's doing. I do want to assess the room. I want to see if there's any vents or grates or any way that we can have to have a back to have a backup yeah. plan to escape if we need to. That's there just, is yeah. there's a vent a little high up. It's about ten feet from the floor to the ceiling. There is a vent up. You it looks small enough that probably Grist can get through, but you guys are probably gonna have a bad time. Are there, there any crates or anything we can stack to prepare in case I mean, we need there's to a, There's a droid you can climb with essentially spider arms. Oh. <laughs> so um, the vents above the droid. Yeah. Okay. By this point, you guys hear the elevator doors. And then you hear the thump, thump, thump sound of heavy metallic feet. I hope uh, you guys know what you're doing. What, what, what are you doing? What do you mean? I'll take a deep breath. What you, get my game what, face I on. I can't see over your head. What are you doing? I step away from the computer and grab my vibros. Whoa! Spear. Stand next the to ships lock. are those. Is, did you? Where'd you find those? That's the hangar. Is the Rosen? I'm hop over the back of the chair. Is the Rosen Road in there? No, no Rosen Road. She's is a, there? Did you find another hangar bay? Nope, just the one. Mm. So as stepping out first is that droid. What you see is a droid about eight feet tall. Can we see the elevator? Yeah, because from uh, where? Okay. Or actually, no. Have you? You have an open we're, door on the com computer right. screen. You would see it. Step okay, out. gotcha. Because essentially, you have a camera looking from down the hall. Is it the thing where it's the whole bank of cameras and they flick, yep. flick, flick, yep. flick, yep. flick, flick? Okay. Exactly. There's 36 of those screens alone. And that's just on the middle part of the first middle wall. The other two walls have varied information. Out steps first is this large metallic droid. 
It's essentially black with a single white uh, version of the black sun emblazoned on the chest. Mm. You can see that, like you saw, the holographic shield has not been initiated, but it looks well-armed, well-structured, and well-built. Its face is equivocally looks more similar to, uh, if you guys seen the the Dark Troopers from that, it, can t- it seems oh, to have boy. a head similar to that more Stormtrooper look. Guys, do not open fire on this droid unless you have literally no other choice. It steps forward, turns, and scans across. You can hear, not on the camera, but just behind the, the, the doors that you're in, uh, you can hear it, floor clear. And then it don't, turns Ooh. to face where you guys are, and out steps the Keldor that you saw. He is in a ornate and deeply, like almost like velvet black robe. It's not ostentatious like plaid Padme's, no huge like shoulder pads, but it is trimmed with like a gold belt line, gold sleeves on the wrist. Across his neck is a large like golden sash that goes like across the, the back, it's almost Pope-like. And then he, in the center, a huge gold chain with the black sun symbol on it. You don't see any weapons on him, but that you all know enough to not take that seriously. So he's coming, he's coming. Do we open the door? Do we just wait? I'm gonna climb back up the chair. <laughs> I'm sure you can open the door when he gets here. So I'm gonna, I'm trying I'm, to, I'm quiet. I'm trying to time it. I'm watching the, watching the screen. I'm gonna try and push the button on the chair that'll open the door right when he gets there. <laughs> The droid walks forward first and then kind of takes up that side position as it stands in front of the door and turns to allow him entrance. You can see that it has the holographic arm is the one that would open the door. So mm-hmm. if the door slides it open, if you try to shoot, you would guess that it's probably going to do something. Right. So what do you want me to roll? I'm uh, trying to do the best I can so that when he walks there, psh, the door opens. Okay. Essentially, what is your skill in computer? Uh, it's one. Oh, one? It's easy enough to find. I mean, the skill button. is you're, you're asking yeah. the rank, not the yeah. dice pool. Yeah. yeah, it's one. Yeah, it's simple enough. You're not asking. If it was a little bit more like you're trying to play close the door with him, <laughs> that would probably be harder. <laughs> this is, yeah, man. You're just trying to see him and press like open. Yep. Not hard at all. And then I'm gonna lean back, very imperious, sit in the chair like I'm king. Mm-hmm. Okay. The door opens and the Keldor sits stands before you. Fear Another saving throw. Some people do, and certain Run ones away. do. He does not. He does not have a fear saving throw. So essentially, standing in front of you is this Keldor. He seems to scan around the room. He seems calm as his fingers are still in that art, like taloned match. And it's just him and the droid. It's him and that one droid. Okay. He's. I mean, he must be pretty confident in that droid. He, he could be. He could be confident that you know you're surrounded by him and his asteroid. <laughs> You know, there's a lot that could be going on here. Uh, I can't figure out whether to have my arms on the the chair on the armrests or, or cr- folded across. Because I keep going back. And I know, forth. yeah. Because I I know I know that that Locke <laughs> has his arms folded, and I know that that uh, that Victus is probably holding the the spear, but I don't I don't really have a weapon, so I'm yeah <laughs> trying to pick something. Around. As he scans and kind of looks, he stops at you, and as you're doing the arms like back and forth, yeah. you hear a. Huh. I'll leave them wherever they were. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure they're here. I'm just yeah, gonna leave them there when he starts now, laughing. They're just back in between. Welcome, guest. It's good to see you in person. Yeah, you, you could have done that before. I could have, but it is safer to make sure I know who is in my house before I let them run free. Well, you could have asked. I'm Grist. I did ask. I know that you are Grist. I know that we have a Victus, and I know that there is luck. I also know from our interactions with the Falling Girl that you have graciously brought to me, that you're not affiliated with her past, so you're new known quantities. If you are willing to come with me, I'm of course going to take you. You requested food. Down on the next floor is where the main barracks is of my units reside. There's also the spa and massage parlor, the recreation room, and other accoutrements. Okay, so, I've been to a spa before, and I've been to a guest room. I've been in your guest room. Is your spa like your guest room? <laughs> As you say that again, he, he actually like lets go of his hands and like holds to his stomach. <laughs> you are quite funny. No, this is a real spa. This is the benefits of working with the Black Sun. I'm here are you to offer offering us work. I am. 
let's walk and talk. And he, as he does, he literally turns his back to you and begins to walk. Like, to he's heading towards So I'm area. looking at the two of them and climbing down from the chair. I nod and, like, motion to follow. I'm looking at Locke. Reluctantly following along. I look okay. at Locke, but, like, you can't be reluctant. This was your idea. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how long I can tolerate this guy. As you guys pass, the droid doesn't seem to do anything. As soon as you finish passing, it starts walking, stepping, walking. If, if we're if we're going with him, when it appears we are, I'm going to catch up and, and walk beside him. Oh, excellent. He doesn't, like, turn. He just, you know, are you are on his left or right side? I'm going to be on his right. Okay. Good to know, because I need to know in case that something happens. <laughs> um, so he moves to the elevator. As he does, the door opens. Ooh, he didn't push it. He didn't push anything. It just opened. Yep, it just opens for him. So he has a guy somewhere too. Okay, no, hold on a second. Hold on a sec. Doing it. No, Grist. Grist has an idea about these things. Grist is gonna like quietly try to 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 look him up and down. Does he have like a? What I'm expecting is some kind of a device that he walks into certain places and reactions. A fob. Give me a fob. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a three difficulty perception with one black. And after this, I'd like to ask him something. Oh, of course, absolutely. Please. Hey, <laughs> three successes and three strains. So, I mean, three threats. Three successes, three threats. But there is an important thing with those three strain that I just got. <laughs> Are we still down the one strain? You did not rest. No, 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 no. no. Are we still down the semi-permanent, the permanent one strain? strain. Yes. Uh, yes, because... Oh, thank you for reminding me, Chris. Yes, uh, because this is Six's story and part of her yeah. obligation having kicked off. You are still suffering the pressure so of what's happening. So with happened. that, I am at zero's total strain current. Understood. But um, three successes. I will put it... <laughs> let's answer. So you look to see this. So you had three stresses and how many... Uh, three threats, three successes. Okay. So you see that part of his outfit, he doesn't touch anything. But you catch a glimpse out of the necklace he has, the gold necklace with the black sun symbol. You can see inside, like from a quick glance, there's some circuitry on it. Your guess is that's like a command control token. Okay. It's essentially his the the master car that identifies him as like the the Vigo. As you're kind of like staring and looking up at him, you would feel woozy at this point. Essentially, your body, the adrenaline's mm -hmm. kicking down, all the stress is kicking in. And I know what I need. I need food. Yeah. And he kind of looks at you. I gave um, him. And the as whole you kind bag, of like. Though. Yeah, that was a snack. It was, like, it was like a 20 pound bag. As oh, you're talking the kibble <laughs> thing? Don't you remember we used the oh, kibble yeah. thing for the dogs? I don't still have that. I thought we had some left over. As. Oh, well. As oh, I kind do. of like wobble. I forgot I have. I do have a bag of dog treats. I just forgot. I forgot they were there. As you kind of wobble, like he actually off. removes his right hand uh -huh. uh, from his his stance and like actually puts it against your back to hold you steady. Mm -hmm. Ooh, steady yourself, small one. You see him reach into his robes. He has like a slit that you didn't see there, Ooh. and you can see that he's moving his hand around across his chest and he pulls out a thin blue vial with a needle like injector. <laughs> uh, I'm I, leaning back from that. It's he's not he's not putting pressure, so uh, like you know he's just gently holding you up. Uh -huh. Of course, I apologize for the intimidation. That was not the goal here. I see that you are weary from your experience with my persuasion artist. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This, if you are into the illicit can help you uh, sustain yourself for this evening. So I'm, I'm looking back at these two. Do I get any kind of a signal from either of you, you guys? You guys see him holding what looks like, of course, an injector gun, like a small one. Essentially what you get from any of the doctors and medicates, and there's a blue vial attached to it. I just shake my head. He's shaking no. I look so over lock. Lock. While we're walking, Locke's like trying to kind of fall to the back and just study the droid just to see if there's any mm -hmm. like control Weakness. boxes or shield generators or any like weak points just in case mm -hmm. it comes to a firefight i want to know what to aim at so i haven't really been paying a whole lot of attention but when Ooh, i see him like beautiful. kind of reach his arm around him i'll just kind of look at him and i see the blue vial and i just you can just see like a look of like you know kind of shock and horror and don't you know yeah, uh, that okay so i'll say oh no no i i i i, I i'll be okay i just need food 
Of course, I understand. As it slips, as he slips the vial back into his robe, Booster Blue can be quite a bit for some people. Okay. So I'm gonna be like <laughs> Vigo Rizoka. I have a question for you. For uh, having an honest dialogue right now, which uh, I believe we are, tell us what happened to our Feline compatriot Six. As you guys kind of all gathered together, let me pause before I answer that question to answer. Locke, uh, essentially when you are studying this droid for your time, because uh, you'll be on the elevator ride with it as well, you can tell that the uh, back core, essentially like mid-back, the spine is kind of exposed, and you see and hear a little bit of a chinking sound as though it's like metal scraping against metal, like it's not fully secured there. You're guessing that there were probably some modifications put in that, that probably stuck. overburdened the system. That uh, stuck. Yeah, best way to describe it. <laughs> that's I love that's that. not very cash money of you. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. So going back to Victus as you guys enter the elevator, mm -hmm. that is an excellent question. So let me start while we're in the privacy of this elevator. And as you first, you know, when elevators are going, like, ooh, mm. you actually see him kind of like, again, move his hand towards his necklace and the, the elevator stops. I'm not here to scare you. But let me tell you about your compatriot, seeing as you might not be fully informed. What do you know of the falling you call six? Uh, she's really good at talking to people. She, uh... I understand that she is from some kind of rich family. Oh, yeah, 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 right. I understand that she, uh... She borrowed her father's ship. Right. And, I, and I'm very good at keeping my hands so I don't do the air quotes. Right, yeah. <laughs> and, uh... Uh, we're uh, teamed up with her. She smells good, usually. For an assignment, and uh, you know, we needed a shuttle to get there, and she had one. That's about all I could say I know. Not really and she was a pretty good pilot. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I, I think I think the word that she used was administrator? She, she delegated a lot. <laughs> and what is it that we're supposed to know there, Vigo Risoka? Of course, Victus. So, the following that you know is Six is merely her cover identity. You are not wrong in knowing that she does come from a rich family. She's a spy? Nobility is quite wealthy in the Falling Empire. She is a princess of that nation. Her father, Tross Grell, so much. looked after her. Those well-known dialogues and associates come from year of pedigree in dealing with politics. What you don't know is that she stole the family heirloom ship, the Rosen wrote. Oh. <laughs> I think the, a wealthy family would have a better ship than that, but <laughs> go ahead. I would, I would agree, as, as Delok say that in person. Yeah, no. Yeah. He, Locke he, worked on that ship. Yeah, so. you hear him go like <laughs> as he continues to laugh with it. One would agree, but the thing about antiquities is they're there for show, not for usage. But that's Very not good. the main concern. The concern is who else is part of her family. I can tell you this. Upon her relieving her family of their prized possession, six, like I assume most of our people, being those with nefarious backgrounds, ran into us, the Black Sun, her other family. Because all politics share hand-in-hand -hand relations with cartels. Her uncle is a Vigo in her sector. She seems to have forgotten this, as their family ties are, well, not public. So wait a minute. She, she works for you guys, but not for her uncle? <laughs> she didn't know she worked for her uncle. She worked for us. So Vigo's your job, not your name. Vigo is a title. It okay. means, from the Falling language, it means nephew. It is oh. given to the highest of us, besides, of course, the Underlord, Arlita. Wait a minute! You're a Faleen? I am Keldor, but the Black Sun welcome all. Oh. When I, when I know when I know the origin of the Black Sun and their Faleen connection... Give me an Underworld knowledge. Ready. This is, this is very specific, yes. How much per roll? This would be a three difficulty. The Black Sun did have some notorious time in the club. No. One failure, one threat. You know they're a big criminal syndicate. What you would know, and this Vigo will tell you, our origins began with sentient trafficking. However... Uh, the minute he says that, I'm going to look right at Victus. I can feel the tension. 
However, like any business, it expands. Six, as you call her, did not appreciate some of our other business ventures, and like the spoiled child she is, took our training, our money, and our resources with her when she decided to run off. However, with her return, bridges can be bend, and debts from other Vigos can now be checked in. So what I am offering you is an opportunity to join our illustrious organization. As what? Vigos? No. You actually hear like the hard voice of no. Like all who enter, you would enter as initiates. Based on your known skills, your ability to escape dangerous situations, you would of course do a few missions to prove your worth and then work your ways up through either as, either as enforcers, tech resources, business associates, or many other illustrious business opportunities. And we can work up to be Vigos. There is always possibilities. The nephews are hmm. well guarded, well trained. Do not take us lightly. Maybe so I'm again going to look at these two. Vigo, but um, I'm a free agent. I don't know about my friends here, but commitment like that would come with a really high price for me. Oh yeah, I'm a free agent too. Well, <laughs> look at as he, he touches the necklace again and the elevator continues, let me try to persuade you with some of the amenities provided. With time and journeys, you, this could improve more. This would be where you would be stationed to start. And we would, of course, have you do mm, opportunities around the galaxy. You could even make it back to the main base one day. As the elevator comes down, you now enter what would have been the second floor. The elevator opens. This looks nice, still similar, a little more well-worn and used. This one you can hear noise going around. This shares the similar H kind of look. The difference is that there's multiple doors down each hallway. Of um, course. Essentially, it doesn't look so much like an H as it just looks like an overcompact apartment complex. From when you step out, there are walls on either side that are just under construction. You can see that there's like dotted lines, there's a caution like hollow sign set up. I apologize for the mess. We are hoping to expand further to accommodate new resources. As he shows you, you can see if you are facing towards the right side, which would be the east, there's our armory where equipment is provided for basic gear and loadouts. Yeah, and definitely. The ability to purchase and equip yourselves and customize along with workstations and workshops. I will definitely sidelong look at Locke, see what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll assess the facilities. I'm not against, you know, working for these guys. So, I mean, Locke's body language doesn't show, like, disgust or anything. It's just that I'm not, you know, he, he's not willing to, like, sign on and join mm -hmm. anybody either. He actually turns Locke. Would you like to but uh, partake and see what some of the equipment we have available? Oh, yeah, I like that. Again, play. also, remember to think back to our conversation before, Locke is also kind of playing nice. Mm -hmm. Because he yep. wants to pretend to be more interested than he is. Okay, so yeah, yes, the, uh, that sounds uh, that sounds great. You can hear the sound of like people chattering. The sound of this this is more familiar to like your busy like lives. You can hear the sounds of like drinks like clacking, uh, people's shouting as people are coming and going from like the restrooms and like the spas. Anytime they come out and they see the Vigo, everyone immediately kind of like stops, does like they pull two fists up to like form on top of each other against their center chest, yeah. bow, and then continue their way. He seems to just like knowledge and like general waves depending on whatever side they're on, and he walks you into the armory. The armory is this square room similar to like KR's shop, but much more well organized. You can see that they have shelves with slug throwers, slug scatter guns. They have pistols as one whole shelf across the wall. They have plasma rifles. And then on the back right section, if you've ever seen like one of those like old fashioned like pawn shops with like the, the chain link grate, uh, it has ray shield kind of in between it. You can see behind that is heavy ordnance, and there's a guy oh, yeah. what looks like I think I forgot how you pronounce it. It's like Androstians. They are the they're the alien with like the horn in the center. Uh, they're the kind of they look like the like take the stereotypical gray alien with eyes, but make them red. They have the single horn. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. So so walking around the armory, lock you know he'll like kind of whistle whistle with uh, you know admiration. 
So, you know, uh, speaking of Vigo, you know, we did deliver six or princess six to you. I'm sure that made you a lot of money. I mean, you know, what about some sort of uh, upfront payment or uh, reward for that situation? He, you know, like you see him kind of actually like turn to look at you. And if you can imagine he smiles, he's smiling. Right. <laughs> I see it in his eye. Wait, no, you, I can't. You would see, see it in his, in in his, his metallic wiggle. visor, or his metallic uh, eyeglasses. You see him walk through the aisles over to the heavy ordinance. The Andros goes, yeah, no, wow, no, and like does the same signal. <laughs> he sits there. I'd like to requisition one riot armor. Ooh. <laughs> he pulls out this kind of like plasteel padded like chess piece with an ascent like an assembled like gre- uh, gauntlets and greaves and leg pieces. The, now you're speaking my language, Vigo. On the shoulder is, of course, on the pauldron on the left shoulder is the the black sun symbol. That's great. The riot armor, as a heads up, has defense zero, soak three, encumbrance three, HP two. That's Do you take it from him? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I'm taking it and sizing it up to my, you know, seeing if how it fits. I'm kind of. Okay. Well, yeah. This Grist is, nice. is a little worried inside because it looks like yeah, I mean, that, that's all it took to get locked. I'm, I'm, I'm being romanticized by Vigo right now. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's he's he's talking your language, you guys, man. But, you yeah. can see across most of their equipment, it's not the best, but it is by no means the worst. It's, I it's like, above good. I'm looking in the mirror and he's standing over my shoulder and I'm like trying. You, know, you, you can see how like <laughs> he's like coming up behind you and his yeah. hands are on yeah. your shoulder. Yeah. He, he legitimately does do that if you're like looking at like, like a sign, and he goes like so he like beautiful. leans over yeah. and he goes like, just like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> it breathes in all yeah. the right places. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Vigo. <laughs> oh, man, you know what that's happening. <laughs> uh, the language of love. The language of love. Armor. Uh, what about the rest of you? Are you impressed by what's going on here? Not at all. But no, I want food. Excellent. <laughs> would you like to continue, or would you like to spend more time in the armory? Oh, as much as I would uh, love to stay here all day, I think you know my friends would probably appreciate moving on. Of course. As they step out, he is turns right so heading back towards the elevator section as you're walking past it to the right you see above the sign and the glowing neon lights it says spa as they walk past the door opens you can see inside the left side of this room contains a large like almost japanese a japanese onsen bath people of different species are bathing male female alien of any sort and on the right are what look like masseuse beds they are essentially just like raised ceramic like shelves with this very ornate black mattress with like kind of a gold silk sheet that people are lying on and different what looks like servants are applying oil scented uh, whatever they need for the different needs of the species and as they move further forward on top of this door uh, you can hear the sounds of like television talking drinking going past is the cafe As it opens up, you can see that to immediately to your right is a chair, uh, a bench against the wall, like an L-shaped bench, one on the north, L-shaped bench, center table. There's a huge bar in the left corner, kind of going from the left corner to the mid of the room, containing hundreds of different bottles of alcohol across the galaxy. You can see a droid is like sliding across, serving drinks. There's a television on every corner. Everyone kind of stops like eating, they all stand, salute, and you can see the Vigo raises his hand, his right hand, and everyone goes back to like conjoling and talking. So I'm gonna lean over towards Victus. Um, so he was saying that that their beginnings. Do you think everybody gets paid here? And I'm trying to be quiet. Yeah. I don't think anyone here is for volunteers. Even them. And I'm pointing at like the um, the masseuse tables. Uh, right. That would have been a different door back. Oh, it's like, okay. When the people salute, is it pure? Is it you know like can we see? A, is it a yes. positive interaction or yes. like? Uh, this is the equivalent of. Do you mean like do you see pride in yes. the people's eyes? Like like right? Is it like a like something Locke would recognize as like a tribal thing from his you know from his clan? Is it like a tribal <laughs> pride or is it like a coercion I, type thing? That's where I would say, <coughs> uh, perception. 
or leadership to uh, see if you sense what's coming on from them. What's the difficulty? This would be two difficulty. And I'm going to look Three up at, at, after stepping back Three from those, Victus. Those. I'm going to look up at the Beagle and say, nope. so are we eating? So, I just got two advantage. Two advantage? Yeah, um, and one failure. Okay. Mm. You can use the advantage to heal strength. Yeah, I'll do that. You would know enough. You've seen enough bounty hunters. Loyalty is one of those things like... Because you've, you've never been a soldier, but from your own past and your history with your clan and with the bounty hunters, this is belief in the cause. Whether it's because of finances, but there seems to be at least a mutual I'm, level yeah. of respect. I'm pretty confident that they're not just... Yeah. Okay. This which, isn't... Which yeah. does kind of, um, you know, I do I do respect and appreciate that, you know, because I, it's, that's something from my history yeah. that I relate to. And if a person has the admiration and, and fellowship of these people, then, you know, Locke's probably thinking, okay, something else could be going on here. So he takes the center table in the middle of the room that's open. Is there anything in particular that you would desire? A uh, little, like, R2 droid with a tray attached to the front of it, kind of like... <laughs> Like kind of pulls up. Sadly, I haven't created some yeah. BS name yeah. for some food, but yeah. I'll you know ask for that. Okay. Essentially, he's giving you like planetary, like you're asking for like a spaghetti or something. Mm -hmm. He'll he'll feed you, give you drinks. Essentially, they they don't have the squibs love pasta yeah. or whatever. You know, I'm trying to think of like it's catnip. I want that oregano, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> Longest piece of spaghetti anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially, like. What you're seeing is they definitely don't have hard protein meats, but they have food that... Fresh caught Nabu fish. Yeah. But you have stuff that, like, <laughs> like compared Pickled to... Gungan. <laughs> compared to the slop you get on, like, Lenac kind of stuff here, this is things that like, you can tell this is solid food. The food versus, is firm versus... Yeah. Okay. Versus mush, and it's probably not just add water, like, on Ray's planet and getting yourself, like, you know, a Scottish bread. Like, this is... Legitimately, like someone cooked real food. And does it smell good in here? Oh yeah. I mean, it's it smells like. I mean, it doesn't smell like roses, but it smells like cooked food and like alcohol. It's not a, a terrible smell. There is the lingering smell of death sticks as people you can see are like smoking their death stick cigarettes. The occasional person you'll see like will shoot up their that blue vial into their arms. I'm noticing that. Mm -hmm. This is they sit and talk. Uh, he will just talk to you about the amenities, that food is prepared fresh, that shipments are delivered, and after you guys eat, you can all regain three strain from this well-earned meal if you are eating and drinking. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Got, I got a Ronto wrap. Oh, ah, beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I know. that. Oh, so tasty. So tasty. All right. So does he stay with us the whole time? He stays with you, essentially, to just kind of show you the rack around the rest. And what essentially he's going to do is... I understand that if I continue to press you, I would be counterintuitive to my desires. So I will let you allow allow you to walk around armed with as you are to speak to others, talk to the locals. And if you have any further information, I wish to, for you to speak to Dr. Amani. I, I do have one question before you go, Vigo. Um, seems like you got a lot of good help around here. What do you need from us? Like, why us here? What, what are you guys recruiting for? What are you planning here? I mean, I love work with intelligence i'm just kind of <laughs> as slightly as you, glaring you're, you're kind of standing in Locke front of the elevator. i know why i'm being invited yeah, yeah you're standing in front of the elevator <laughs> and essentially why like he's I? about to like take him and his droid up and he sits there and as he like kind of like gives you a second running an organization takes diversity and skill my hope is from the initiative you've shown of escaping, the ability to have worked with the falling princess as you have, shows to me that you're cut above the rest. My hope also is with your connections in Lenac to help me with some future plans. All great powers have poor relations with others. As anything happens as a hunter would know, predators eat prey, and I hope to raise you to be strong predators to eat our prey. So I got some questions for you there, uh, Vigo Rizoka. Let's say we don't accept your offer. You're gonna just let us go? Pregnant pause. Pregnant pause, yeah, he kind of like sits there and looks. What would you do given the opportunity? Well, depends on what you're trying to get out of us. If you're trying to get us to show your uh, good fortune as a uh, job provider, I would say that's probably not gonna be a good first step, threatening us with execution. On the other hand, you're a man of Slim patience, I gather. Having someone refute you is probably not good for business and reputation. You tell me. 
I walk away right now, am I going to get a blaster in the back? You are quite insightful, but you have missed some points. The question has to finish with this. When you go crawling back to Lanak... Wait a minute, we gotta crawl? We can't use a ship? Science are you wrist. going to follow the <clears throat> service of Vanabash Baba? Or are you going to just continue your work with KR? Uh, you see, I'll give you this, you know what you're talking about. Well, I'm not one to cut and run on my deals. It would grieve me greatly if I have to abandon our contract with KR. But, end of the day, one employment is not too different from another. And we live in a free society, or at least people pretend we do. And that means that we can go to where the pay is best. <laughs> and if you are offering us better pay, or offering me something of actual value, I'm sure we can come to an agreement. You actually see and you feel from just your ability. You have four cents, right? I do not. You do not. I okay. do. Grist, you would feel this. You actually feel like the sense of like respect and pride <laughs> kind of fall over. And you're like, wait, where is this coming from? As you're just looking at this creature with this, you know, rebreather mask and glow. Like, like, you're like, wow, like he's looking at him like the son he never had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell yeah, Victus don't, that. Don't ever, don't give Victus more big head than he no, needs. No, not a chance. He sits there and like, after a moment, you can hear. <laughs> Out of character, are we currently under contract with KR? No. At all. No. We've, we've, you, we have closed, every, we have closed every single one. So we're we never turned jobs. in our last job. Yeah. We never turned it in, but we completed it. We just you, never you actually have, went back go, to, to turn the in the quest. And, yeah. right? and, and purely, literally speaking, we never signed a contract. No. You, okay. You I'm signed just, a free agent agreement with yeah. KR, which is essentially, he will give you jobs if you promise to work for him. And as long as you stay in good standing with him... He'll look over you. He'll help you with your personal issues. And he'll he'll if, fix our ship. And he'll fix and your I ship. And I want to be very clear. We did finish the job. Yes. We just didn't check in. Yeah. You just haven't the job was done. All I this. fixed all those damn things. Right. Yeah. So essentially, uh, the Vigo kind of sits there, not breaking that eye contact with Victor. All right. I would give you the opportunity to close a contract because business is always important. And if you choose to return back here, well, the door is open. But if you choose to turn against us, well, I hope what I've shown you leaves an impression about poor choices. Mm. Put it lightly, you are correct. Well then, I will have you stay a good time. If you choose to have a contract with us, speak to Dr. Amani, and we'll figure out the rest from there. If we... Are we free to leave then, and then return when we want the contract, or are we to agree to it before leaving? He stops. As a sign of good faith, I have two ships currently waiting that have served with us. We're getting two ships? Which, pick one. Oh. That way, if you choose not to return, we'll always know, just like the Rosen wrote, who to keep an eye out for. Tell you what. I'm going to be able to fly a ship! God damn it, Chris. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll accept. Personally, I can't speak for my two No, no, I'm in! I'm in! I can't speak for my two compatriots. But, if we agree, we get a ship, one of those big freighters you got in there, and I want one Starfighter. <laughs> Alright, try to negotiate with him. Because uh, you are asking for more than what he, he is currently willing to give. But I'm willing to just sign the deal right now, basically. Yeah. Like, this is a this is the buy it now price. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, negotiation. That is not my man. Sponsor. I'm a cheap day. I settled for just a suit of armor. And <laughs> 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 Starfighter. Man, this guy gave me what I wanted: a uniform. And that's all I ever wanted. Yeah. I'm a free agent. Here's my NFL jersey. I'm, I'm fucking sold. with you. <laughs> I'm with you. Um, so I do negotiate. I, that is actually something I can do. And I'm already kind of in the conversation, so can I assist him by asking, well, is the Starfighter going to fit on the ship, or, you know, something like that? How can do I we, how do we, him? I basically, I'm going to run it to the point where we've already got the Starfighter, and I'm saying, well, how would we fight, fit it on there? He would have to hook up some more stuff to the ship we're running, and basically so, run it that way. Like, yeah. I've bypassed him. So, 
I know this is going to sound hilarious, but this is what it is because of his ability. It is four reds. <laughs> you might need these. What, if I'm getting to help, one of these, one of yours is, one of your greens is a yellow. Thank you. Should be fun. Because you are targeting him. That's the. This only happens because you are negotiating, negotiating, the negotiating. with him. Right. I don't expect to win this, but, but you know, you, know, hey, you can't get any starfighters if you never ask. I'm trying to think <laughs> if there's a conditional thing we could do. Well, let's see flipping. how. Let's see how it plays out. And let's see. Let's see what we got. Right. I, I do want to see if, 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 look, if like this the goes spot. well. My thought process is if if by some miracle yeah. this works. I want to spend one of those white because there's a specific starfighter that I know out of game that the Black Sun uses, which I would love to see. <laughs> okay. okay. So, but but neither of those ships, assuming it is the two ships we already saw, can fit a fighter. They have airlocks right? on them. I mean, those, no. So they are quite large. The depends on the fighter that Victus will have to talk okay. about it. They are. I'm they just can saying, fit throw the smaller dice. fighters. They can't fit larger. Right. They're freighters, not carriers. Yeah. They are not big enough to be carriers, but they can have quite a large capacity. Okay. That's so why maybe I, I could pick. hold one like like decommissioned so, or yeah. something. But one one failure, three threat. It was honestly <laughs> pretty close. <laughs> that closer than it should have been from mm -hmm. what he was mm -hmm. going. But glorious as you sit there and you just kind of like look at him. There's again that pregnant pause. You're like. Eye, eye to eye, and you just don't, like, you get a bead of sweat, he gets nothing, and you just hear, no. <laughs> <laughs> Worth shot. But, Learn I mean, we get a ship! Let me say this. Continue to do well in organization, and opportunities abound. You can become a squadron leader of your own flight wing. All right, so how do we get the ship? You can take the elevator down. There is either or. Pick which one you want. You can finish your contract and return. We will discuss from there future obligations. Sweet, sweet. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go say goodbye to Kr and then come back here. So we're gonna make sure that we uh, are men of our word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that sounds good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And Kr said he was gonna fix the ship. What about six? <laughs> like, is there any way we could, you know, close up dealings with six or talk to or see six in any way before? Yeah. Now that I think about it, it did she just go with you guys? You actually feel like that kind of like cold feeling cross over you as though like you asked something you really shouldn't have talked about mm -hmm. and he sits there i would not say forget your friend but you are not likely to see her soon she has other okay. duties that pull her away from here i wonder why she didn't say goodbye i don't think it was her choice there christ it doesn't seem very nice vigo rizoka you have yourself a fine day as do you and i turn and start walking towards the hangar all right. So the rest of you, are you joining with the Black Sun? Let me ask. Locke, you were bought for a, a, a sweet set of armor? Yeah, I mean, well, you know, surface level Locke was bought for a sweet set of armor, which Locke is a sucker for a sweet set of armor, but <laughs> ultimately, it's you know. Armor. Yeah. Oh, I it's, mean, it's a good set of armor. I, Trust me, there's more to it. Locke's very impressed by the fact that this guy would literally equip people that could uh, turn around and attack him in the back. So obviously there's something that, you know, we don't, that we're unaware of. There's leverage he has that we're unaware of, and Locke kind of knows that. So until we figure out exactly what that leverage is or how to counter it right now, we're sort of, um, we sort of have no choice. So the other thing is the ship idea to Locke is too good to be true, right? It's just yeah. simply too good to be true. There's no contract, there's no deal, there's no debt, there's no nothing. It's just take the ship and I sail away. Say. So <laughs> there's the implication that if we don't show back up, they'll hunt us. Down. Right. So we're, but what, what I'm saying <laughs> More is, than an implication. It's a promise. We're going on the assumption that this ship is like you know completely bugged top to bottom. They know where we're at at all times. You know everything we say is being eavesdropped upon. You know, so it's. I don't want to be very clear. Gris said, and Kr is going to fix the ship. Yeah, but he was going to fix the Rosen Road. Dude, what the fuck is this? So he shows like, up with this thing. What did you guys return with? And what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, but right. But on a superficial level, Locke is yeah. like, right now, he's, yeah. he is, you know, playing the game. He's playing a little hard to get, but he's, yeah. you know, being courted by this organization. And, and, it, and on the surface level, it's hard to see why he so. wouldn't want to make money here. No, absolutely. The so, contract. Oh, right. No, no. I was just going to say, Vigo, we'll, we'll, we're going to take the ship. We'll be back. And that is where we will end for this season.
Oh, geez. Um, okay. We will discuss what ship you take and where we go from there, guys. So we, right. we end the you season are, as uh, you, sand runners or you, as black sand runners? No. As black, black sun. Black sun Not runners. red sand, <laughs> sand runners. runners. They're not red we sand are runners. Not, so there's no runners. runners. There's no runners. It's there's no runners, runners at all. Yeah, congratulations, guys. You joined a criminal syndicate. So, right. Oh, my goodness. I did not black expect Black sun, that. red sand. Uh, no. Black red, sun. Black sun. I know, but I wrote down red sand red runners. Sand was but the, yeah, that's the, the, red, that's was the, the little drug dealers that's the little, you guys okay. killed okay. and destroyed. Thank you. <laughs> All right, okay. guys. Excellent. Thank you for joining us for the season one finale of NCRP Productions Star Wars. We couldn't do this without you, so please like and subscribe everywhere we're found, including YouTube, Facebook, Anchor. Google, Apple, Spotify, and other great podcast sites. If you'd like to help us continue making more content, we'd love to have your support on our Patreon. And if you have any feedback for us, please feel free to comment on our podcast or email us directly at ncrpproductions at gmail.com. That's n-c-r-p-p-r-o-d-u-c-t-i-o-n-s at gmail.com and we'd like to give a special shout out to our current patrons md parker 4 chef francis crowman 76 loading mad cat m coling november stevenson and rosix 13 thank you all we truly truly appreciate it